Okay, let me start off by saying, Nickelodeon used to freaking rule back in the day. I'm not going to lie. But today, it just sucks ass. And, you know, they just overuse ideas. So, let's see. Let's take a look at some of the shows that um they have on today. Um, the first one is iCarly. They milked the show way too far. It's been done. The jokes are really lame. It's been done in Drake and Josh before. They're just ripping the jokes off. And, um, I mean, the characters are somewhat okay, except, um, probably Sam and, well, Carly's pretty, you know, at Carly is, Carly could be random at times, is what I'm gonna say. She's like, I don't know, she's just, I don't, it's just, she's kind of like Megan from Drake and Josh. I'm just gonna say that, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, Spencer's a really good character, Freddy's a really good character, I mean, they're all, pretty good except Sam and Carly as I already stated but they I mean Nickelodeon can't I mean they're on life support right now the only the life support is I Carly and Spongebob that brings me into the next one Spongebob I'm all I mean I really like Spongebob it's just that the new episodes are kind of disgusting and creepy like I watched it for the first time in over uh, maybe six years the other day and holy Christ it was nasty as hell I mean it's like, oh my god. But um, the characters, you know, I, I love the characters in that show. Spongebob, he's just a little bit way too annoying nowadays, but he was okay. Patrick, dimwit, as usual. Every show has one. Sandy's a pretty believable Texas character. Um, I really enjoy Sandy in that show. Um, Squidward, gotta be the funniest character I've ever seen in a show before. He's just so, like lazy and doesn't really care what Spongebob's doing. He really hates him and stuff. And, um, Gary is a really sarcastic little snail. It's kind of funny sometimes. And, uh, next show. Um, Fairly Odd Parents. Okay, then again, just like Spongebob, I love Fairly Odd Parents. That is, the older seasons. As soon as they brought Poof in, the show just went way downhill. I mean, it almost hit rock bottom. I mean, like, Poof is the most useless character I've ever seen in a TV show besides Scrappy-Doo, and we don't even want to get into that. Um, so, Timmy Turner. Well, he's pretty funny sometimes. Cosmo, the dimwit of the show. And, uh, Wanda, the know-it-all nagging wife. And, um, Poof is just a retarded little baby. I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, the guy who makes that show... <clears throat> needs to stop making it as soon as possible and he needs to create a whole different show like he's already doing um tough puppy that's gonna looks like it's gonna be a good show with um jerry trainer from iCarly. but um yeah he needs to really end that show it's been on for way too long 10 years now 11 years something like that just like spongebob um next show true jackson vp oh my god this show sucks Balls. It is the worst show anyone's ever put out besides the Disney comms. But, oh my god. The, sh the, sh the idea for the show is okay, but wow. It's just milking it way too far again. They It just is really lame jokes. Just I, It's horrible. Ke and uh, Kiki Palmer, she's a good actor, but... Yeah, this show is just bad. I mean, none of the characters are believable. It's really stupid. And, um, let's get to the next show. Victorious. Oh, my God. Not again. A direct ripoff of iCarly and Drake and Josh. That's all I'm going to say. It's a bad show. The only good show was Drake and Josh. iCarly is okay, but this show is just bad. Just bad. Okay? Um, so, basically, those are the shows that, um... We have today, and um, as you can see, they suck horribly. But um, let's see the upcoming Nicktoons. Well, starting in October second, we're gonna have the show called Tough Puppy. It's voiced by the uh, main character's Dudley Puppy, and he's voiced he's voiced by Jerry Trainer from iCarly and Drake and Josh. And um, it's the guy who made Danny Phantom and um, Timmy Turner or Fairly Odd Parents, and it's it's really really original it's gonna be a big fresh air for the channel um i don't know we just gotta wait to see uh, next show planet sheen 
this show I'm kind of so stoked about because Jimmy Neutron is my one of my favorite uh, Nicktoons, and um, Planet Sheen I'm I'm really excited for because it's Sheen's show and it's his spinoff, so it looks really interesting. It's really original too, and um, let's see, Monsters vs. Aliens really, really I'm okay with the Penguins of Madagascar. I'm okay with them. I'm really fine with Penguins of Madagascar. It, but come on. Monsters vs. Aliens and Kung Fu Panda? Just stop. Just stop there, Nickelodeon. <sighs> Whenever I watch Nickelodeon, it's usually either SpongeBob or Fairly Odd Parents. That was that'd be the only reasons why I'd ever watch that show. I mostly watch Nicktoons. Because that channel at least has like Dragon Ball Z and some good shows like that. Oh, and I forgot to mention with the shows of today, Penguins of Madagascar. I, let me just start by saying I love this show. It's really original. The characters are really believable. And, um, uh, th I like the idea of like, having Commando Squad, like, Penguin sort of deal. That's pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. And, um, yeah, but back at the barnyard. I forgot to mention that one, too. This show is the most overrated show I've ever heard of. It is the worst show. I mean, it's like... It's just not original. Animals? Okay, Penguins of Madagascar. So it's like, come on. Get some originality. Now let's see some of the Nicktoons of back in the day in the 90s. Th these were my favorite Nicktoons, just to note. First one is Rugrats. Well, I really loved the show. The, it was a good family show. Um, it, it was just really great, and... Um, Characters were original, uh, great cast, um, plot was really good, every episode was differed. Another show, Rocco's Modern Life. This show was my f one of my favorite Nicktoons. It had Rocco, which was um, one of the best characters in cartoon history. And I think Spongebob, the idea for Spongebob, came from the show. Another show was Jimmy Neutron. They ended the show back in 2007. I don't know why, but it, it was another one of my favorite Nick, one of my favorite great Nick tunes. It was just really good and original, and every episode was different, just like Rugrats. And um, another show that I seen was um, Ah Real Monsters. It was really good, and um, I enjoyed it a lot. And I don't know, characters were good. The monster idea was a good idea. Another show was Run and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy was another one of my favorite Nicktoons. It was really, really good. And, um, I don't know. It was just had adult humor and double entendres. Um, another show was Doug. Now, Doug, from what I've seen of it, was great on Nickelodeon until, um, Disney Channel had to steal it. And they put him on Disney Channel. Um, another show was, um, yeah. Yeah, I can't think of any other shows right now. But those were some great shows. Oh, Danny Phantom. Um, that show was, um, really, really good. I really liked Danny Phantom for some reason. It was a great action show behind Avatar. And, um, Avatar. Well, this show ended, and the movie was terrible. But Avatar was another awesome action show. Um, I really wish they would make more of it, so that's why I'm excited for Legend of Korra. Um, I just wish Nickelodeon would bring back these shows, because today's shows aren't that good, except for the upcoming ones, which might be okay. So, yeah. Nickelodeon. Um, hope, uh, hope you like this rant, guys. I'm just starting off, so go easy on me.